quattro is supplied almost fully assembled. After attaching both uprights, loosen both the toe ball locking knob and the collar nut, then lift the carrier onto the toe ball. With one hand holding the carrier level, use the other hand to tighten the locking knob and tight. Once locked with the keys provided, the locking knob will spin freely in the lock position. Depending on your toe ball size and shape, the conical clamp might not sit fully inside the housing, but as long as there's equal distance all the way around, the carrier is securely fitted. Using the spanner provided, tighten the collar nut and make sure there's no side to side movement. Attach both brackets to the light board using the tools provided. Slide the light board onto the rear of the carrier and attach using two of the 45mm bolts provided. You only need to attach the light board the first time you use the carrier. Using the cable ties provided, secure the wiring to the frame, making sure to position to the left side of the tilting bracket. Attach the electrics. The Quattro is fitted with UK standard three function lights using a seven pin plug. Open all the wheel straps on both sides before fitting the bikes. Loosen both uprights and lay them flat. This will make it easier to position new bikes. Place the heaviest bike closest to the car with the gears and derailleur facing the car. Holding the bike with one hand, secure the upright into position. Tighten each handwheel, hand tight. Loosen one of the bike arms and position the jaws around the bike frame. Once in position, tighten, hand tight, locking when you're finished. Tighten both wheel straps. The rubber padding will protect your wheels. Load the next bike, making sure it's facing the opposite direction to the previous bike. Place the bike arm jaws around the most accessible part of the bike frame and tighten, hand tight, locking when you're finished. Load the third bike opposite to the second, adjusting the pedals if required. Holding the bike with one hand, use the other to lift the upright and secure into position. Taking the nearest bike arm, place the jaws around the bike frame and tighten. You can attach the bike arms to any part of the frame. You can use a seat post, but for security, we'd only recommend doing this for the second or third bike. If the fourth bike has stabilizers, these must be removed prior to fitting. Again, when fitting the fourth bike, make sure it's opposite to the third bike. Position the remaining bike arm onto the bike frame and tighten, hand tight, locking when you're finished. To operate the tilt, release the retaining wheel. You can use the bike's handlebars or frame to pull everything towards you. Make sure you keep hold until the carrier has reached its full tilt. This should now leave enough room to open and access the boot on most cars. Now simply push the carrier and bikes back up to horizontal then reposition and tighten the retaining wheel and tight. Using the tool provided, fit your number plate. Any UK standard car number plate will fit.